after looking at many of your nominees for 2016 Scumbag of the Year Award winner, including the mainstream media with this new fake news and propaganda bullshit that they're now on, uh, Hillary Clinton repeating from her 2015 Scumbag of the Year Award, John Podesta, and so many others, I've decided to that George Soros has won the 2016 Scumbag of the Year Award. Uh, he also fits in with the mainstream media as he's the puppet master uh, behind Hillary Clinton and also the mainstream media. Uh, he's one of the main globalists. So George Soros was a young man. Uh, he was born Jewish in a, and then he grew up uh, briefly in a ghetto, in a Jewish Nazi-run ghetto in Budapest and in Hungary, excuse me. And he turned in other Jews. And there is actually a video interview from 1988 from 60 Minutes where he talks about he actually enjoyed doing it. So I guess he be he turned from a Jew into a Nazi. And then maybe now he's become, I guess, somewhat of an atheist. Or maybe he's in those uh, spirit cooking sessions, too. Because uh, he was mentioned, obviously, in the WikiLeaks. There was also uh, releases from George Soros Foundation and other of his organizations. I mean, this guy is really pure evil. I think he's basically the devil. If you think Hillary Clinton is, is a demon or a witch, George Soros is, is her puppet master. George Soros is basically the devil. Uh, he has created all of these crazy uh, political activist groups uh, to divide and conquer us by race, gender, class, ethnicity, uh, you pretty much age, you pretty much name it, he's created a group to divide us, so we fight amongst each other. Uh, his own website says that he's a prominent international supporter of democratic ideals and causes for more than 30 years, and his philanthropic organization, Open Borders, his open society, he's caused immigration crises in Europe, he was one of the main champions for that. You can look up the stories on Zero Hedge, there's tons of them, I will put, just search George Soros and Zero Hedge, there's tons of articles. He's funded revolutions, whether he tried to do it, color revolutions in many different countries he tried to do it in ukraine he's responsible for many different deaths so he's destabilized governments he's caused problems uh he also has invested heavily in in propaganda organizations like media matters which david brock runs and media matters has gotten lots of uh hard-working more independent more libertarian or honest journalists fired from the mainstream media over the years media matters has focused on uh, basically uh, being pro-globalism for all the mainstream media. Uh, so that's been its mark. And they got Glenn Beck fired from Fox News. And also uh, they got Lou Dobbs fired from CNN. Lou Dobbs is a little bit more libertarian. Greg Beck, Glenn Beck's kind of weird. But anyways, though, uh, you know, he's created MoveOn.org, Think Progress. He's funding these groups. He's funding uh, protesters, violent protesters for Black Lives Matters and others. Um I don't want to get into that too much, but, you know, the stuff he he's involved in is nefarious. Uh, obviously, you know, protesting is part of American descent, but, you know, the stuff that's going on is not peaceful. Uh, it's, it's violent. Cops are being killed. And I think George Soros, a lot of the responsibility lies at his feet for the stuff he's done. Uh, I just think the man basically has no morals. Uh, he believes in this, uh, the, this philosopher named Karl Popper. And that guy, Karl Popper, believed very heavily in social engineering. So uh, George Soros is a huge globalist. Uh, he's a hypocrite billionaire. Uh, his politics are total bullshit. Uh, I, it, it's just really unbelievable. I think he's an enormous scumbag. Uh, there's an argument to be made that he's basically, you know, a demon, if not the devil. Uh, he's, he's a devil incarnate, you know, the stuff he's involved in. And you know, the funny thing guys is the mainstream media doesn't even really mention him or ever say anything bad about him. I hardly ever hear him mentioned on the mainstream media. He's like the puppet master who works behind the scenes, but he's 86 years old right now. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't, uh, figure out any advanced technology so he can live another 50 years. Uh, I'm just tired of all his bullshit and all the ridiculous stuff he has done to uh make americans lives harder he has no uh he has no alliances or he has no support of being an american he doesn't respect that that much he's a globalist he doesn't really care if he destroys the united states in fact there's an argument to be made that he wants to destroy the united states and he's working with people like hillary clinton and the podesta brothers and others uh, are his minions to do it. So uh, George Soros is my nomination for a 2016 Scumbag of the Year Award winner. Uh, I think he's done a lot of harm. He's 
He's drastically changed the mainstream media with his activism and paying for open propaganda. He's helped fund a lot of different super PACs. Uh, notice how the mainstream media talks about the Koch brothers and how bad they are, but George Soros has just as much, if not more money, and he's been putting a lot more money into funding these these uh, political organizations to divide us by uh, you know gender and race. It's just unbelievable. The mainstream media won't even talk about uh, how much worse George Soros is. So they, they make it like, you know, he's this amazing humanitarian when he's uh, done sponsorship for political revolutions as well. Okay, guys, well, uh, happy, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, we were supposed to record a Welcome to Dystopia episode today. I guess we're going to have to reschedule that again. But uh, if you agree with my choice for George Soros for 2016 Scumbag of the Year, uh, click below. Uh, the mainstream media could have easily won this award. Hillary could have easily gotten back to back. John Podesta could have potentially won. There's a lot of scumbags right now. So unfortunately, a lot of the elites at the top, they have no morals. Uh, George Soros believes in this too. Uh, moral relativism, that's part of um, you know his philosophy with Karl Popper. So he's a huge piece of shit. Uh, he's a rich guy. He didn't he didn't earn his living, I don't think, honestly, in the right way. I think, you know, he's destabilized governments and cheated. He did work with his hedge fund with Jim Rogers Quantum Fund for a while, uh, and they did make enormous returns. I think they made over 10,000% returns in a little bit more than a decade. But who knows if they are trading on inside information or cheating. I mean, the context George Soros has, uh, he can easily uh, trade on inside information and cheat just like Warren Buffett. Okay, guys, well, that's it for right now. So George Soros is your 2016 Scumbag of the Year Award winner. Hi, Ron. It's Jason Birak of Wall Street from Main Street. Thanks again for tuning into our podcast and for helping us get over 2 million views on our YouTube channel and over 10,000 iTunes downloads per month. We have a special offer for our Wall Street for Main Street listeners that has proven to be a good investment based on plenty of five-star reviews from satisfied customers and independent fashion bloggers. Mo and I recently tried some shoes from a new company, which is run by a family of third-generation shoemakers called Grant Stone Shoes. These are classic Goodyear Welch shoes using full-grain leathers from world-renowned tanneries. In a world filled with disposable products, it can be difficult to find items which can be used for years and later passed down to the next generation. Grant Stone is a smaller brand going direct to the consumer, which offers unprecedented value. Quality and fit is the cornerstone of their program, and the customer response and reviews confirm this. These are high-quality shoes at a good price for the busy professional who wants to improve their appearance at the office, in the boardroom, or out on the town with your girlfriend or wife. Or, if you're single like me, you know you will look good with these shoes on and maybe impress the ladies with your style and taste. But, if the ladies love Obama or Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders and hate free markets or capitalism or entrepreneurs, at least I will look and feel good in my comfy Grantstone shoes. Mo and I have worked out a special offer for our listeners. So when you go to grantstoneshoes.com, enter the code GOLD, that's G-O-L-D, for 10% off any purchase. That's grantstoneshoes.com and enter promo code GOLD.